Hi everyone, uh, welcome back sa aking channel, GTR Math Tutorial. So for today's video, uh, we will uh, discuss another motion problem na nanggaling sa 1001 solved problems in engineering mathematics, day 4, number 188. So two planes uh, leave Manila for a southern uh, city, a distance of 900 kilometers. Plane A travels at a ground speed of 90 kilometers per hour faster than plane B. Plane A arrives in their destination 2 hours and 15 minutes ahead of plane B. What is the ground speed of plane A? So choices, 205, 315, 240, and 287 kilometers per hour. Okay, so try nyo muna isolve bago panood din ang aking solution. Okay, so let's start. Number 188. Ayan. So to solve this, para mas madali ay gabit lang tayo ng table. Lagay natin. First column, plane A and plane B. Tapos yung uh, mga iba pang column ay distance, rate, and time. Okay, so... Okay lang natin sa first column natin, plane A and then plane B. Okay, and then sa taas, yung mga formula natin or yung mga variables natin dito, rate. And then we have next ay T for time and then we have distance. Okay, so lagyan lang natin ng mga expressions yan. Variables. Ayan, so two planes ay... Uh, Two planes leave Manila for a southern city a distance of 900 kilometers. So, parehas ng distance yung two planes. So, therefore, itong D, ilagay lang natin dito ay 900 kilometers. Okay? Plane A travels at a ground speed of 90 kilometers per hour faster than plane B. Mas mabilis daw si plane A. So, dahil mas mabilis si plane A, si, si B, hindi natin alam yung speed ni B, lagyan natin ito ng X or kahit anong variable na gusto nyo. So, si plane A ay 90 kph faster. So, di ibig sabihin, ang expression para kay A ay x plus 90. Okay? And then, plane A arrives in their destination 2 hours and 15 minutes ahead of plane B. So, mas mabilis dumating si plane A kasi nga mas mabilis siya. So, therefore, magsasubtract tayo dito ng time. So, hindi pa natin alam kung ilan yung time ni B. So, mag-assign tayo ng variable para sa time ni B. Uh, let's say T. Okay? So, kahit anong variable, pwede nyo i-assign dyan. So, si plane A naman, nauna siya 2 hours and 15 minutes ahead of plane B. So, isa-subtract natin yung 2 hours and 15 minutes. Pero itong 15 minutes, i-convert muna natin ito sa... Convert natin ang 15 minutes sa decimal. Okay? So, 2 hours. So, 2 point, ang 15 minutes ay equal sa... Convert natin. So, 15 minutes. Multiply lang natin sa conversion. 60 minutes ay equal sa 1 hour. So, we can cancel out the minutes. So, therefore, we have 15 divided by 60. So, pwedeng i-lowest term yun, magiging 1 over 4. 1 fourth na lang yun. And then, 1 fourth, that is equal to 0.25. So, 0.25 hour yung 15 minutes. So, therefore, T minus 2.25. Okay? So, now, gamitin na natin ang formula ng distance. Ang distance ay rate times time. So, i-apply natin sa plane A and plane B, magkakaroon tayo ng dalawang equation. So, our first equation dito kay plane A, multiply lang natin yung rate times time and then equal siya sa distance na 900. So, ang first equation natin ay we have x plus 90 multiplied by the time t minus 2.25. That is equal to the distance which is 900. So, this will be our equation number 1. And equation number 2 natin, ganun din. D is equal to RT para sa plane B naman. So we have XT is equal to 900. So this will be our equation, equation number 2. So ang hinahanap natin, what is the ground speed of plane A? So isolve lang natin si X. Tapos ang hinahanap natin, plane A. So pag nasolve na si X, add tayo ng 90 para makuha natin si A. Okay, so... By substitution tayo, i-eliminate natin yung T kasi ang kailangan natin ay masolve si X. So, solve natin ang T dito sa equation number 2. So, solve for T, divide both sides lang tayo by X. Okay? So, therefore, T is equal to 900, 900 over X. Ipalit naman it natin ito sa equation number 1. Okay? So, ang value ni T ay 900 over X. Yan, substitute lang natin dito sa equation number 1 para masolve na natin ang value ni x. Okay, so therefore we have x plus 90 and then itong t, palitan natin ng 900 
900 over x minus 2.25 equals 900. Okay, so simplify lang natin ito. Foil method lang tayo. So multiply natin ito first. Ayan, so distribute natin dito. So therefore, we have x times 900 over x. So that will be, makakancel out lang yung x. So we have 900. And then x times negative 2.25. So that is negative 2.25x. And then ito namang 90. Distribute natin dito. 1 and then dito sa kabila. So 90 times 900 over x. So that will be 90 times 900. So that is positive 81,000 over x. And then minus 90 times... Uh, 2.25, that is equal to 202.5 and then equals 900. So, kung mapapansin nyo, may 900 tayo both sides. So, when we subtract 900 to both sides, pwedeng makancel out na ito. And then, maritime denominator na x. So, i-multiply natin both sides by, by x para ma ma mawala yung denominator natin. So, distribute lang natin dito yan. So, ang, ra ang right side natin ay... 0 na lang. So, pag minultiply sa x, magiging 0 pa rin yan. Okay? So, multiply itong negative 2.25x sa x. So, magiging negative 2.25x squared. And then, multiply this. Maka-cancel out lang yung x. So, we have plus 81,000 minus 202.5 times x. So, we have 202.5x equals 0. So, arrange lang natin ito. Tapos, Yung x square natin, ang coefficient niya negative. So, multiply natin both sides by negative 1. At the same time, i-arrange na rin natin. Okay, so we have 2.25 x squared. So, unahin natin itong may x. So, change the sign. Magiging positive 202.5 x. And then, this will become negative. Negative 81,000 equals 0. And then, next step. I-divide natin by 2.25 both sides. So, multiply natin both sides by 1 over 2.25. Okay? So, magiging, uh, magiging na siyang x squared plus 202.5 x divided by 2.25. Uh, so, eksakto yan. Magiging na lang itong uh, 90x. 90 and then minus... 81,000 divided by 2.25, that is equal to 36,000, equal 0. Okay, so since yung mga choices natin ay puro mga eksakto naman, so ibig sabihin, pwede natin isolve ito by factoring. Okay, so factoring lang tayo. Hindi na tayo kailangan gumamit ng quadratic formula dahil nga yung mga choices natin, eksaktong number. So factors of x squared, x and x, and then factors of 36,000, such that the sum will be positive 90. So, ang pwedeng maging answer dito is negative. So, tama ba yung mga sign natin dito? So, x squared plus 90 minus uh, 36. So, magiging sagot natin dito para maging positive 90 ito ay negative 240 negative 240 and then positive uh, 150. Okay, so parang uh, baligtad yata. So negative 36 para maging positive 90. So positive 240 and then negative 150. Okay, so ang factors ng uh, 36,000 para maging 90 ay 240 and negative 150. Kapag inad natin yan, 240 minus 150 equal siya sa equal siya sa 90. So isa lang ang magiging solution natin dito, i-disregard natin yung magiging negative. Okay, so pag sinold natin, equate each factor, equate each factor to 0. So we have uh, x plus 240 plus 240 equal 0 and then Sa kabila is x minus 150 equals 0. So therefore, add 150 to both sides. x equals 150. Sa kabila naman, subtract 240. x equals negative 240. So syempre, itong negative 240, ano to, uh, i-re-reject natin yan. So extraneous solution yan. Ang magiging answer lang natin is 150. Pero kung mapapansin nyo, wala sa choices ang 150 dahil yun yung value ng x. Ang hinahanap natin ay 
speed ni plane A. So itong 150 ay speed ni plane B. Ang speed ni plane A ay 150 plus 90. So therefore, ang speed ni plane A ay 150 plus 90 that is equal to 240. The correct answer is letter C, 240 kph. Okay, so that's it. So thank you for watching and kita-kita tayo sa mga susunod pang uh, susunod pang uh, reviewer para sa engineering mathematics. So good luck po sa lahat ng nagre-review. Bye-bye and God bless.